So a recent study showed that 10% uh, of Germans own two-thirds of the country's wealth. What does it mean? It shows that uh, wealth concentration is a very serious issue in Germany. Um, it has been recently underestimated. And if 1% of the richest households have more than 30% of net wealth and 10% have more than two-thirds, um, then we see a serious problem because uh, I cannot understand that 10% minority of our population would hold the majority of wealth because they do not, um, they are not uh, much more efficient than the rest of our population. So I think that uh, we need to correct these imbalances, for example, by, by taxing um, wealth. Uh, but um, the EU Parliament uh, just ruled out this law that exempted Apple from paying uh, the 13 billion tax. Well, Apple is a company. Here we're talking about private households. Nevertheless, um, for example, rich private households would be shareholders in big companies, so they would also receive the benefits from tax dodging, for example. We have to see that now in the corona crisis, companies such as Amazon, for example, they also become um, much more powerful. Um, their, their market power is, is, is getting bigger while other people are struggling. And um, Jeff Bezos, for example, owner of uh, Amazon, he would also get richer during the crisis without actually having contributed more to our economic well-being. Um, so I think that those, uh, b this big concentration in wealth does not reflect one's effort. It does not reflect if, for example, the Quants and Cluttons, the owners of BMW, they have not produced all the BMWs themselves. So if they uh, receive 100 millions of euros in, in, in dividend payments this year, uh, while other people are on uh, like short sh short time work and and um, have to uh, have have even become unemployed, then um, this will uh, you know like this will um, widen inequality in Germany and this is also a threat to democracy because uh, I think that wealth also means you hold economic power and economic power translates into political power and this is why it's a serious threat to our democracies. Could you elaborate more on what, are, what could be the ramifications, uh, political ramifications of this situation? Well, the political ramification is if a large part of our population is not able to like, show a kind of social upward mobility, so to climb up the ladder to at least have a decent life uh, if they get up every morning early and, and, and go to work and, and, and put a lot of effort into their work and yet they cannot make it, then frustration will grow and this can seriously undermine democracy and this is why I think that um, given that we also have a debt break in the German constitution, which I'm critical of, uh, it will lead to big cutbacks in investment and social spending after the crisis because of all the loans that we have just taken from the market. And if we want to prevent that, then we need uh, a serious taxation of, um, uh, of, of, of uh, wealth in Germany. And that's what also the IMF and, and uh, other organizations which have been quite uh, conservative in their recommendations for economic policy, they do recommend and they say it is a serious issue in Germany. Uh, my last question would be that uh, Germany has been praised for its emphasis on equality and its social security programs. How did it end up like that? Well, Germany had some labor market reforms uh, under uh, uh, red-green social democratic government, um, actually. Um, after uh, they um, won the elections, uh, back in 1998 against the conservative government. They did some of the reforms that the conservatives always wished to do, but they never dared to make because they would have you know, like trade unions opposed against them. And then they liberalized the labor market. And this led, for example, to um, uh, like depression in wage growth. And if wages do not grow uh, in line with the economy, with our technological progress, then this means that some other people take a larger piece of the cake. So you divide the economic cake in wages and in profits and if uh, the profits rise then automatically for example the big shareholders of, of companies will benefit. So there's a political, um, there are political reasons behind this development. It has been enabled by policymakers and it must be corrected by policymakers. 
I mean, if you have a little bit of time, if you can just summarize, uh, yeah, what can we do to prevent this? Uh, that would be nice because you already talked about it, but that would be nice. I think we need um, um, a wealth tax in Germany. We need uh, maybe even a... No, I need to start again. We need a wealth levy now after the crisis to prevent uh, cutbacks in investment and in uh, social spending. And we also need a permanent wealth tax um, so that we can at least take some of the proportions of the um, big wealth concentration and uh, reinvest it in our economy because uh, we would not even we would not even take uh, all the increases that wealth owners do get away but we would tax a proportion of it because who owns a large share of let's say shares or um, real estate um, usually is also able to uh, accrue higher income in the future. So we need a wealth tax in Germany uh, very seriously um, in order to um, reduce wealth uh, inequality.